At the end of this topic, you will be able to define the rate of the reaction, explain the rate equation for a chemical reaction, list out the factors influencing the reaction rate. The rate of reaction is the speed at which a reaction happens. If a reaction has a low rate, that means the molecules combine at a lower speed. If a reaction has a high rate, that means the molecules combine at a higher speed. The rate of the reaction is defined as the measure of the change in concentration of the reactants or change in concentration of the products per unit time. Consider a reaction. A gives B. Rate of the reaction is given by rate is equal to minus D of A by DT. Rate is equal to plus D of B by DT where A is the concentration of the reactant and B is the concentration of the product. The sign negative indicates a decrease in concentration of the reactant A with time. The sign positive indicates an increase in concentration of the reactant B with time. Chemical reaction proceeds at different rates. The factors that affect the reaction rate are nature of the reactants, concentration of the reactants, surface area of the reactants, temperature and catalyst. Nature of the reactants. Rate of reaction depends on the nature of bonding in the reactants. Usually, the ionic compounds react faster than the covalent compounds. Concentration of the reactants. Rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactants. Surface area of the reactants. The rate of reaction increases with increase in the surface area of solid reactant, if any used. The surface of a solid can be increased by grinding it to a fine powder. Temperature. The rate of reaction increases with the increase in temperature. Catalyst. A catalyst increases the rate of reaction. Activity 1. Perform the given test and write your observation on the nature of the reactants. Material required. Magnesium ribbon, hydrochloric acid, acetic acid, test tubes, two numbers. Procedure. Take magnesium ribbon in two test tubes. Add hydrochloric acid to one test tube. A. Add acetic acid to another test tube B. Observe the changes in the two test tubes A and B. What do you observe? It is seen that magnesium reacts with both hydrochloric acid and acetic acid. The reaction is faster in hydrochloric acid than acetic acid. What do you conclude from your observation? Hydrochloric acid is more reactive than acetic acid and shows that nature of the reactant affects the reaction rate. Activity 2. Perform the given test and write your observation on the concentration of the reactants. Materials required, zinc granules, 1M hydrochloric acid, 2M hydrochloric acid, beaker 2 numbers. Procedure. Take 3 grams of granulated zinc in the beakers A and B. Add 5 ml of 1 m hydrochloric acid to beaker A. Add 5 ml of 2 m hydrochloric acid to the beaker B. Observe the changes. What do you observe? Granulated zinc reacts with both 1 m and 2 m hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen gas is evolved. Evolution of hydrogen gas is more in test tube B than in test tube A. What do you conclude from your observation? 2 m hydrochloric acid is more concentrated than 1 m hydrochloric acid. It shows that greater the concentration of the reactant, greater will be the reaction rate. Activity 3. Perform the test and write your observation on the surface area of the reactants. Materials required. Powdered calcium carbonate, marble chips of calcium carbonate, hydrochloric acid, test tube 2 numbers. Procedure. Take a small amount of marble chips of calcium carbonate in test tube A. Take small amount of powdered calcium carbonate in test tube B. Add small amount of hydrochloric acid to both the beakers. Observe the change. What do you observe? Powdered calcium carbonate reacts fast with hydrochloric acid than the marble chips of calcium carbonate. What do you conclude from your observation? Powdered calcium carbonate provides larger surface area than marble chips. So the reaction occurs faster with powdered calcium carbonate shows greater the surface area, greater will be the reaction rate. Activity 4. Perform the test and write your observation on the temperature of the reaction. Materials required marble chips, hydrochloric acid and beaker. Procedure. Take 3 grams of marble chips in a beaker. Add 1 ml of 1 m hydrochloric acid. Observe the changes. Heat the beaker. Now again observe the changes. What do you observe? Calcium carbonate present in the marble chips react with hydrochloric acid both at room temperature and on heating. Carbon dioxide is evolved. On heating, carbon dioxide is evolved faster than at room temperature. What do you conclude from your observation? Upon heating, the carbon dioxide is evolved faster than at room temperature shows. Increase in temperature increases the reaction rate. A substance which alters the reaction rate without undergoing any change in mass and composition is known as catalyst. Activity 5. Perform the test and write your observation on the catalyst. Materials required. Potassium chlorate, manganese dioxide, test tube. Procedure. Take small amount of potassium chlorate in a test tube. Heat the test tube. Observe the changes. Add a small amount of manganese dioxide to the test tube containing potassium chlorate. Observe what happens. What do you observe? 
When the potassium chloride is heated, it releases oxygen slowly. Upon adding manganese dioxide to the potassium chloride, oxygen is released faster. What do you conclude from your observation? After adding manganese dioxide, the oxygen is released faster shows addition of catalyst faster than the reaction rate. Prepare volcano using ammonium dichromate. Materials required ammonium dichromate, heat resistant transit board, tongs and matchsticks. Procedure Put a small amount of ammonium dichromate on a heat transit board. With tongs, hold the matchstick to light the ammonium dichromate. While the ammonium dichromate decomposes, it gives off orange sparks and throws the green chromium 3 oxide crystals into the air, producing an effect that looks like a miniature volcanic eruption. Activity 7 Prepare volcano using baking soda. Materials required 6 cups of flour, 2 cups of salt, 4 tablespoons cooking oil, 2 tablespoons of baking soda, dishwashing detergent, food color, vinegar, warm water, baking dish or pan. Procedure Bake the cone of the baking soda volcano. Mix 6 cups flour, 2 cups salt, 4 tablespoons cooking oil and 2 cups warm water. Add more warm water if needed. Stand the soda bottle in the baking pan and mold the dough around it into a volcano shape. Fill the bottle most of the way full with warm water and a bit of red food color. Add 6 drops of detergent to the bottle contents. Add 2 tablespoons of baking soda to the contents. Slowly pour vinegar into the bottle. Watch the eruption. The baking soda sodium bicarbonate is a base while the vinegar acetic acid is an acid. When they react together, they form carbonic acid which is very unstable. It instantly breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide which creates all the fizzing as it escapes the solution. Activity 8 From dawn to dusk, observe any 10 chemical changes taking place around you. The 10 chemical changes observed are rusting nail, burning wood, cooking food, digestion in your stomach, milk going sour, fruit ripening, plants growing, photosynthesis, getting a tan, adding baking soda to vinegar, burning a candle. In this topic, you have learnt Chemical reaction proceeds at different reaction rate. The rate of the reaction is defined as the measure of the concentration of the reactant or products per unit time. There are five factors influencing the reaction rate. They are nature of the reactants, concentration of the reactants, surface area of the reactants, temperature and catalyst. The ionic compounds react faster than covalent compounds. Rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactants. The rate of reaction increases with increase in the surface area of solid reactant. The surface of the solid can be increased by grinding it to a fine powder. The rate of reaction increases with increase in temperature. A catalyst increases the rate of reaction. At the end of this topic, you will be able to Describe the properties of acids, list out the sources of acids, state the uses of acids, explain the reactions with acids. Acids, bases and salts are used in everyday life, example fruit juice, detergent, medicine. They play a key role in our day-to-day -day activities. Our body metabolism is carried out by means of hydrochloric acid secreted in our stomach. Substance with sour taste are acids. The word acid is derived from a Latin word acidus meaning sour taste. The properties of acids are, an acid is a substance that dissociates in water to produce H plus or H3O plus ions. An acid is a chemical substance whose aqueous solutions are characterized by a star taste. They change blue litmus to red. They are colorless to phenophthalene. They are pink with methyl orange. The sources of acids are, the apple contains malic acid, the ant contains formic acid, the milk contains lactic acid, the grape contains tartaric acid, the tomato contains oxalic acid, the lemon contains citric acid, the vinegar contains acetic acid. Acids are classified based on their sources, basically ionization and concentration. Based on their sources, acids are organic acid, inorganic acid. Based on their basicity, acids are monobasic acid, dibasic acid and tribasic acid. Based on ionization, acids are strong acid and weak acid. Based on the amount of acid dissolved in water, acids are concentrated acid and dilute acid. Based on their sources, acids are of two types, organic acids. Organic acids are present in plants and animals. Many organic acids are naturally present in food items. Example, HCOOH, formic acid, CH3COOH, acetic acid, inorganic acids. Inorganic acids are present in rocks and minerals. Example, HCl, hydrochloric acid, HNO3, nitric acid, H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Based on their basicity, acids are of three types. Mono basic acid, 
An acid containing only one replaceable hydrogen atom per molecule is called a monobasic acid. Example HCl hydrochloric acid and HNO3 nitric acid. Dibasic acid. An acid containing two replaceable hydrogen atoms per molecule is called a dibasic acid. Example H2SO4 sulfuric acid, H2CO3 carbonic acid. Tribasic acid. An acid containing three replaceable hydrogen atoms per molecule is called a tribasic acid. Example H3PO4 phosphoric acid. The term basicity means number of replaceable hydrogen atoms present in one molecule. Example acetic acid CH3COOH monobasic. Acetic acid has four hydrogen atoms but only one can be replaced. Thus it is monobasic. Based on ionization, acids are of two types. Strong acids. Acids which ionize completely in water are called strong acids. Example HCl hydrochloric acid. Weak acids, acids which ionize partially in water are called weak acids. Example CH3COOH, acetic acid. Based on the amount of acid dissolved in water, acids are of two types. Concentrated acid, any acid which dissolves in high percentage in water is called as concentrated acid. Dilute acid, any acid which dissolves in the low percentage in water are called as dilute acid. Care must be taken while mixing acid with water. Acid must be always added slowly to water with constant stirring. If water is added to a concentrated acid, the large amount of heat is generated which may cause burns. The mixture splashes out of the container. Reaction of metal with acids. Metal reacts with acid to form salt and hydrogen gas. For example, zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid, forms zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. The metal replaces the hydrogen atom in dilute acid to form zinc chloride. The presence of hydrogen gas is confirmed by showing the gas bubbles near a burning candle. The flame goes off with a pop sound. Another example is magnesium which reacts with sulfuric acid to form magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. Reaction of metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate with acids. Metal carbonates and metal bicarbonates are basic. They react with acids to form salt and water with a liberation of carbon dioxide. Magnesium carbonate and magnesium bicarbonate react with hydrochloric acid and forms magnesium chloride in water with the release of carbon dioxide. Reaction of metallic oxides with acids. Metallic oxides react with acids to form salt and water. For example, copper 2 oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to form copper 2 chloride and water. Similarly, calcium oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid and forms calcium 1 chloride and water. Reaction of acids with water. Acid produces hydrogen ions in water. Hydrogen ion does not exist alone. It exists as hydronium ion H3O+. Separation of hydrogen ions from acid does not occur in absence of water. Activity 1. Perform the experiment and react the reaction equation from your observation. Materials required. Zinc granules, dilute hydrochloric acid, candle. Take 5 grams of zinc granules in a test tube. Set the apparatus as shown in the figure. Add 10 ml of hydrochloric acid through thistle funnel. Observe the changes. The bubbles are seen due to hydrogen gas. Bring the burning candle near the bubbles. Observe what happens. What do you observe during the course of addition of hydrochloric acid? Zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas is seen by the bubbles formation. It is tested by brought near a burning candle. The flame in the candle goes off with a popping sound. This confirms that the metal displaces hydrogen from dilute hydrochloric acid. The reaction of zinc granules with hydrochloric acid is Zn plus HCl gives ZnCl2 plus H2. Perform the experiment and write the reaction equation from your observation. Materials required test tubes, washing soda, baking soda, dilute hydrochloric acid and lime water. Procedure. Take two test tubes and label them as 1 and 2. Add a small amount of washing soda in the test tube 1. Add a small amount of baking soda in the test tube 2. Add dilute hydrochloric acid to both the test tubes. Observe the changes. Confirm the liberation of carbon dioxide with lime water. What do you observe? Both baking soda and washing soda reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid forming sodium chloride and water with the liberation of carbon dioxide. The release of carbon dioxide is confirmed by passing it into the lime water. Lime water turns milky. The reaction equation is Na2CO3 plus 2HCl gives 2NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. NaHCO3 plus HCl gives NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. Perform the experiment and write the reaction equation from your observation. Materials required, copper 2 oxide, dilute hydrochloric acid. Procedure. Take 2 grams of copper 2 oxide in a watch glass. Add dilute hydrochloric acid slowly to the watch glass. Observe the changes. What do you observe? The color changes from black to green. This is due to copper 2 oxide reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, forms copper 2 chloride. 
the reaction equation is CuO plus 2 HCl gives CuCl2 plus H2O. The uses of acids are sulfuric acid is used in car battery and in the preparation of many other compounds. Nitric acid is used in the production of ammonium nitrate which is used as a fertilizer in agriculture. Hydrochloric acid is used as a cleansing agent in toilet. Tartaric acid is used as a constituent of baking powder. Salt of benzoic acid is used in food preservation. Carbonic acid is used in aerated drinks. In this topic, you have learnt An acid is a substance that dissociates in water to produce H plus or H3O plus ions. An acid is a chemical substance whose aqueous solutions are characterized by a sour taste. They change blue litmus to red. Acids are colorless to phenophthalene and pink with methyl orange. Acids are classified into four types based on their sources, basicity, ionization and concentration. Reaction of acids with metals, metal carbonates or metal bicarbonate, metallic oxides and water are given below. Sulfuric acid is the king of chemicals used in battery. Hydrochloric acid is used as a cleansing agent in toilet.